Hey everybody, it's Stuart here, and in today's Google Ads beginner campaign, I quickly wanted to explain a couple of the terms which regularly appear in reporting dashboards so that you can properly understand exactly what information you're seeing so that it makes sense so you can make informed decisions with your Google Ads campaigns. So I've just got an example campaign for one client who I'm running ads for at the moment that is a service-based business operating down in Canterbury. Now, the first thing that we can see is the IMPR, which is the impressions on the ad. So basically, with impressions, it is the total number of times in which an ad has been seen. So in the set period of time that we have got at the moment, we can see that the ad has been seen a total of 58 times. And if we look just to the right of the IMPR, we can see something called the CTR, which is known as the click-through rate on the ads. So the click-through rate is the number of times an ad is seen versus the number of times somebody clicks through on it. So you just have to divide the total number of times someone has clicked through on an ad by the impressions to get your click-through rate. If we move over to the cost for all conv, that is the cost for all of the conversions that have been generated. So we can see here that there have been three lead form submissions and one phone click for an all conversion cost of $1.60 and an all conversion rate of 44.44%. Now, before you think that this can be something that's pulled off consistently, bear in mind it is a retargeting campaign going after the most engaged users who didn't yet convert into customers. The next thing we have here is the total number of clicks. So this is the number of times that someone has seen an ad and interacted with it. Then we have the conv rate, which is the conversion rate for the primary conversion objective, which is lead form submissions. And then over on the far right hand side, we've got the cost per conversion. So next time you are running a Google Ads campaign, just bear all this data in mind and you can now have a more solid and thorough understanding of the key terms on this search console dashboard so that you can make informed decisions about whether your campaign is effective or whether it needs improvement. I hope you found this video useful. Hit that like button if you did and have a fantastic day everybody.